Beautiful new song uh, by our next guest, uh, who's involved in many things right now, including perhaps a reality show. But I don't think we're allowed to talk we're about that. We're not allowed to talk we? about it, but we have so many <laughs> other things to talk about. Mary Zelba is joining us now. How are you? I'm right. great. Good to see you guys so again. We're, we're not allowed to talk about any reality shows. Nothing. No, not allowed. <laughs> not at all. Reality well, show. Thank goodness we have so much more to talk about. Now we yeah, first of all busy. wanted to talk about that song that we were listening to because it's beautiful. very close to your heart. Tell us about the it song is. and what it's about. Well, I haven't had a song out, as you probably know, for quite some time. I took a bit of a hiatus, but I'm back. And um, I actually wrote this song with Adam H., who is a pretty mm -hmm. renowned producer, songwriter, and a couple of other guys, um, Vic and Jerry, and all from XOXO Entertainment. And it's um, about my son, basically. I wrote it for my son, who has a disorder called tuberous sclerosis. He is mildly affected, but the but the spectrum of this disease can go from very mild to very severe. And what is, what it? is it? Yeah. It is a it's a disease that affects every organ of the body, primarily the brain, which is why it always is accompanied by seizures or 95% of the time it's accompanied by seizures. And um, my son had seizures at around 6 years old, but he's been fortunate that none of the other organs have been yeah. Um, have been infiltrated with any of these tubers, but they're calcium deposits. Isn't it amazing how when your children, because uh, I think most kids have some sort of crisis at some point in their life, almost every kid goes through some sort of medical issue, but uh, when you have something like that that could have long-lasting ramifications, how thankful you become uh, about the gifts that are given within that diagnosis. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. it could always be worse. Yeah, and you know what, that's just a really good point because people, don't I mean as a parent and you know you yeah. know you it doesn't matter you know what it is that could happen to your child when you when even if it's like something you don't know what it is and you have to rush to the hospital and you're all freaked out when anything is wrong with your child you you yeah. you, you just <laughs> step back and you can't deal with it right it's yeah. like, but um, with with what happened to my son you know I you had to I had to roll with the punches I had to figure out what it was and and I was very proactive in getting him early help and um, and he was diagnosed at six years old, and uh, of course, yeah. you and the family learning to deal with it along the way. What does he think about mom singing a song <laughs> and writing a song about it? Because it's one of those things that not a lot of people are aware of this disorder, and bringing attention to it is such an important thing. But what does he think about all that? You know, I'm glad you asked that because I was very worried at first about bringing, uh, bringing to the attention that my son had it because yeah. I didn't want him to be exploited yeah. in any way or yeah. step into the limelight. Son. Right. <laughs> so I wanted him to be really comfortable with it. So I spoke with him about it, and he's very much um, active in wanting to find a cure, and he's very active in trying to to raise awareness for this disorder. So I let him make that decision. And one of the great things about this new single that I've got coming out is that Chase is actually playing on this track. And he played with He's you. He's a guitar you, player. You had a little. Uh, oh, I heard there were people crying there were, when you were playing the song. Your son and it was played just, and with I was crying. You yeah, he did. For the release of the single. And what was that experience like for you, Mary? It was like one of those things that I never Crazy, thought would huh? ever happen because, you know, when Chase was three, they said to me that he would never play an instrument. Or not three, sorry, when he was in grade three, yeah. he uh, wanted to take piano. And one of the characteristics of this disorder is that you can't, um, they can't sit still. There's a lot of behavioral characteristics such as autism and ADHD. Yeah. It's the brain. Right, yeah. exactly. And so the teacher said to him, you can't, no, this isn't going to work. He'll never play an instrument. Well, hence he's become a prodigy <laughs> guitar player. And I asked that to take whoever that. told him he There's could no it. better way to motivate someone than say, can't. And he's amazing, and he writes his own song. So I, when this song, we wrote this song, I asked if he could play on the track. So he's got a credit to his name now. How beautiful. And he's played with a professional producer, et cetera. And, um, yeah, and so when I had to sing with him, I all I knew is that I had to keep, I had to focus. And yeah. when I got done, I don't bawled. Look at I don't look at it. Off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I bawled when I was done because the truth is, like, I would never have thought as a mom that I would one day be st standing singing. up there singing with when my son accompanying me. Coming out like any day now. Any yeah. day, up more on music iTunes. Comes, and it'll be up on iTunes. We have so much more to talk about because I'm distracted by the smell of tequila. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> this is a, I thought that was coming out of my pores, <laughs> but apparently. This is a for Mike because he knew about your fragrance and the beautiful yeah. lip gloss I know, and, and, you got, and you weren't able to make it to the launch of the fragrance at Beauty Mark. Yeah. So 
you know, that's too bad. So here I brought that's it. That's all right. So, I get to smell it all the time on Forbes. No, there is, nice. This is a new drink that my, my partners and I have developed. Oh. It's called Blue Tulum. Oh, and I've it's not quite plastic. available yet, but it is going to be available at all liquor stores near you. Um, and, and it really is blue like the water is in Tulum. Tulum and of course, exactly. it wouldn't be Mexico without tequila. Exactly. So, my, so it's all in the bottle? And, and It is. Ah, it's all in the bottle. Ready I made. like the way you think, We are Mary going Zola. to do coolers as well. But I was, you know, looking at you guys earlier with the water, and I no, thought, oh, water, yeah. water is no. boring. What kind of talk show host to drinks water? This, I need to lighten this afternoon up here. Well, okay. cheers. 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 Thank you Love for that. having me. It's Our a pleasure. pleasure. And uh, we wanted to talk oh, about good. the fragrance and the candle and the body lotion and the lip gloss um, that I'm in love with. What was it like for you creating uh, the beauty line? Well, real quickly, I will tell you, this was like a dream for me because as I've had all my singles out and my music out, I always wanted to do something in beauty and in fashion. And so this is really great. I, I worked with Mark at Beauty Mark and um, also Pesa. with uh, Prince Pesa. Mm -hmm. And they asked me if I'd want to create my own scent. Yeah. So I was yeah, like, I yes, do. I'd love to do that. <laughs> That's such so a dream for a girl. How much fun is that? Such a dream. I know. And my mother doesn't know this yet, so when I go back for Thanksgiving, uh, this scent was actually created with my mother in line or in, in mind because she always kissed us good night and I always remember the scent that she smelled like when she kissed me good night and this is there's a lot of jasmine in this particular fragrance yeah. and there's driftwood so it's got a beachy jasmine -y, um, was it hard musky. to recreate that smell because smell comes no from because memory. I knew there was the jasmine and I'm a jasmine fan and my mother yeah. always it was in her smell face it. cream so I don't know what kind of face cream she was wearing but that's what it oh, was so I'd beautiful. smell her face cream and I wanted to recreate with that did you know as soon as like you smelled it, you were like, got it. <laughs> yeah, I added a little bit more, more other, you know, Beautiful. some other notes to it and made it a bit more modern in me, but. A little bit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> cool. uh, I just, I thought I should do it all, right? Yeah, so anyway, so um, I've got some for you, Fiona. Thank you. Well, I'm already addicted to the lip gloss. Are you? Isn't it the best? I'm wearing lip it right gloss? now. It's, it's the, best. the best. Mike, you don't know this, but this is the best color. Well, I do know that Prince <laughs> Pesa, of course, makes uh, amazing products. They so do, and they're uh, at the Bay now, Prince Pesa, so. Um, nice. You know. Now, Mike, we didn't ask, what do you think of the Blue Tulum? I know you're a tequila guy. Oh, yeah. No, you notice it started <laughs> it's all up gone. there, and now somehow it's, I think it's evaporating. Well, so have it. Cheers to you. And Thank you so Mary. much, you guys. The single Thank will you. be out on Thank iTunes you. soon. You can check out Mary's we website at maryzilba.com to find out more information. I like See, the smell of tequila. I swear evaporating. I take and small sips, and it and just And you don't mind the color as a guy? Does the color bother you? No. I wear pink. <laughs> if I wear pink, I may as well drink blue. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break.